Hey everybody, Brian Von VA here, back at it again, and today we're going to literally dive right in to the newest video, which is, what are some of the best out of context quotes from your campaigns, part six. Yes, we've had six whole parts of this because, well, ladies and gentlemen, anyone, everyone, y'all have had some wild quotes out there that literally don't make any sense to the campaigns that you're in, but they're so beautiful that we just have to include them here. And if you want to include yours, put it in the comments below. But that said, let's dive in, shall we? You're a peace cleric, so you will not harm me. Oh, no, no, no. I'm a peace cleric. <laughs> Whipping out a gun, am I? That was only his belt. I eat the child's fingers. You know what that means. That's your dad. DNA results are in. <laughs> I'm not taking orders from fucking Raspberry Jam. Did he just gunpowder cauterize my arm? Yep. <laughs> we got married for tax purposes. We went from having a miracle child to having a miracle alcoholic. Um, can I feel the finger? I throw a javelin at Mr. Febreze floating up there. You're a spinning full on fire, lad. Ooh, that sounds like a genuinely terrible idea. It would never in a million years go well. Hey, I like it. I would like to buy something I can use to see. Uh, eyes? You want eyes? No, not that. The merchant then proceeds to put a jar full of eyes on the table. But I have eyes. Why do you have eyes? No! I want something to see from afar. Oh, <laughs> should have said so. You want glasses? I have glasses too. No! I want something to see from really far away. Uh, like a telescope? Oh, I didn't know there were telescopes in this world. Darling, we're medieval, not prehistoric. Well, shit. Looks like I'm gonna have to write up the equivalent to the Space Geneva Convention. Do you mean the Space Geneva Suggestions? Look, if I waste time writing it, y'all are just gonna use it like a checklist. Ugh, fuck. Y'all may be what causes the need for one after introducing humanity into the spacefaring universe. Don't waste time with it then. It's simple. Is it morally gray? If yes, the party will do it. Are you kidding me? Our party is the idea board for the question, what is considered a war crime? We'll do things in ways that'll make those guys go, we didn't put that on the list because we didn't know it was an option until you did it. You madman. So, at the end of the last session, Bear had destroyed the whole fucking orphanage after Scurrith West cast Go Go Gadget Chaos. The skip shot is the near far wherever you are guy. <laughs> that one got me. It's not delivery, it's a disaster. <laughs> if I die, I don't want it to be to a pie tin. Don't deep throat, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> no one's gonna steal you. We stole you first. <laughs> I'm enjoying the King James version of whatever this is. What do you mean? This is the Rick James version, bitch. Sometimes you eat the sandwich. Sometimes the sandwich eats you. This is Dick Insider. Fox would like to accidentally... I would like to on purpose. We have a Facebook status relationship. We'll go from less can to less can. Gold will be the only lubrication being used. <laughs> a dwarf's wildest dream. A bard who can teach you how to use your lips in a particular fashion. 20 gold is 20 gold. You know, when you fix something, you can't just leave it. You have to take responsibility for the situation. You do? Yes, Fox, you do. I have a lot of people to apologize to. Where were we a couple of minutes ago? Saying goodbyes? Yeah, let's get back to that. 
I just wanted to thank you guys for all the time you've spent playing in my campaign. This is the part where he tells us he's canceling the campaign. And I wanted to let you know that I'm canceling the... <laughs> just kidding. Raise undead on these nuts. <laughs> Best Viagra you ever gonna get. Uh, it wasn't Fox. Fox has never done anything wrong. You can't do anything wrong if you don't have any morals. I sniffed the torch for magics. My favorite enemy is aberrations. Is the toilet mimic currently attached to my ass in an aberration? <laughs> no, it's a monstrosity. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hell for that. I'm going to bash in the toilet hole. So, Bethanol, just to clarify, you want to force your god's weapon into the toilet hole? And then someone looks at their watch and goes, It's fuck bitches get money o'clock. And they kick the door in. Grotty, in your case, you're standing with your clit in your hand. You assume she has the skills to find it. You yeet the goblin. Roll damage. Oh yeah, yeet. You have successfully counterspelled the big bad evil guy's monologue. Hey, yo, big bad, can we get the cliff notes? Roll for door. Uh, remember to eat as much moss as possible, okay? Heal him before he dies, or we can't beat him up. Empty this and fill it to the brim with your saliva. Oh, uh, <laughs> where's my spine? Are we having a monkey Gundam fight? What if we put a blanket over him? The DM, which is really tired of the player's BS. Oh, for the last time, you can't disguise a bear. But you can't download one. You're telling me that thing can explode. Can I use his body as a whip? I don't got a poop shoot smooth like a Ken doll, baby. You have enough historical knowledge to fill a pee. Jojo, you made a car bomb. Oh, oh, oopsies. Can I use the toilet to keep the lava in? Make a dexterity saving throw to not get pooped on. The chicken has transcended the laws of space-time. Yeah, well, I eat it. You successfully catapult the fucking wizard over the mountain. Oh, no! We have a separate channel just for those, and some examples are, even Tig's dead parents heard your spiel. I'm gonna feed him grandpa. Uh, I can't focus on this while we have microwave talking. I will be very disappointed if you don't make armor out of my skin when I die. These balls are undead. Oh, it's the IRS. They will follow you to the fucking abyss, let alone to cave full of undead. You didn't listen to the voices in your head. I hit on all the boxes. And they blush. Arian, do not disintegrate another village. Here's a DM giving an NPC speech. Guide him back to see the light. Me, who just planted a skaven nuke in the castle under my breath. Oh, he's going to see the light all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, oh, oh, damn. Can I kill Varys? Player two, two sessions later. When in doubt, eat Varys. What entitled you to take a bath in our bath? Your raccoon companion, Gremlin, does a somersault in a feeble attempt to help you block the pebble from hitting you in the face. A grain of salt is always salty. Try, try, try as you might, you can't drink away your fear of goats. Aw oh, man, imagine dying to a goblin. Goblin you up. We were just going down on each other's sandwiches. Ooh. He looks like an angry pine cone. Give me that leg. We'll stash it nice and safe from everyone. All right. Blow me away. Wait, don't, don't, don't. All the sex toys begin vibrating vigorously. The ranger with Discord cutting out a bit. I'd like to flank Maria. What? Uh, no, I said I'd like to flank Maria. Flank. I've had longer farts than you. Helicopter beak? 
I open my head like a Pez dispenser. Think of this as an impromptu dissection. Do you like my hat? Ugh, you can't just castrate the bartender. Ugh, take six milk damage. W what does he look like? That's a woman. I can't touch all of you. You wasted a mending slot. I, um, did you just confess to being castrated? Yes. Asmodeus storms up to you. What do you do? I think we might be done for. I have a solution. I challenge Asmodeus to a rap battle. Roll for performance. I activate the machine of justifiable arguments. We'll cross that bridge when we burn it. In the meantime, let me scheme. It doesn't help that I got my ass blasted by a cactus. <laughs> I'ma need you to watch my pants for a while. Thanks. It tasted... Afraid. And the fuck you want? I'm gonna cut you in half with a box. Roll for acorns. You damn high elves think you're better than me. Can I intimidate the soup? You mean investigate, right? Yeah. Uh, too late. Roll to intimidate the soup. Uh, 16? You stare into the yellow broth and yell, Tell me your secrets, oh brothy one! Can I flirt with the chair? The chair is now sentient and is madly in love with you. I cast heat metal. You're a fighter, you don't have that. I'm a gold dragonborn. I am heat metal. This is old man Dan. He poisoned the starter town. Me and my best crazy old coot voice. It was an accident. Ah, I swear. Um, I need a little help. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, what happened? Uh, just pointing to something on the ground. This used to be a rat. Okay, thanks. Wait, there's no explosion? If I play 80s workout music in the background, can I use athletics? The clothes line up and annihilate the monkey. I touch the giant oasis banana. Okay, roll for initiative. No, I will not use lay on hands for your hangover. Just because I'm a ghoul doesn't mean I'm the one who ate your friend's brain. I rolled a natural 20. Ugh, answer, Christ, for the last time, you can't seduce Xanathar's goldfish. I pop an eyeball out of my shoulder and offer it to the goblin. I don't care if it's a church, it needs to burn or where next? Sorry, but we're not resurrecting you. None of us are willing to pull you out of that hill giant. Ugh, it's not our fault you got sat on. I grab the nearest chair and smite this bitch. That's it. I'm calling mom. A green dragon appears looking mighty angry. <laughs> Throw the potion. Which one? All of them. I eat the dead child. Let's use the bracelet of iron chests. Luca does not believe in excessive violence. She just tries to put them out of their misery as fast as possible. Uh, with excessive violence. I'm gonna roll seduction. And I'm going to watch. Where's the popcorn? I know what's gonna happen when I turn into a rat. I'm gonna have great big rat balls. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bust. It's a butt. Scalar, can you heal me? I took some damage in that fight. Eh, you're not dying, so... Nah. You ever have an itch on your butt you can't scratch? Yeah, I have that on my face. Are there any enemies still alive? There's one still standing. Uh, is it alive? Thanks to Peyote. Thorn, you think you are a dinosaur. I cast Polymorph to turn them into Barney. Not one for the save, player two. Uh, but for real this time. So, you're holding your action too? Uh, I'm holding a boulder? Alright, Chris Redfield. 
Hey, little buddy, count down from three for me. Which is three? Just say three. Three! I yeet the child. And I'm holding the torch up to it again. God, you're just torturing it at this point. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm torturing it. Ah, ah. And the DM exits the call. Hey, wait, where are you going? Where are you going? It's a great joke. Knee slapper. During the rest, Shazier is going to get a bird and a bee and put them together to see what happens. Don't look at me. I don't have sticky fingers. I just have violent tendencies. Bonus action, disengage, and it's going to take the cheese. No, not the cheese. No. Fools. Only silver can hurt a werewolf. <laughs> well, the peasant in response pulls out a silver coin, which has a sharp edge, mind you, and uses that to stab himself. Did we solve the puzzle? Yeah, he got it right. You had to follow the symbols along the line from either end. Basically, it was the California girls dance. Oh, you were the whore. <laughs> it's not like I'd say I wish the world was destroyed or anything. <laughs> Have you accepted the mushroom truth? I'd like to reel in the Leviathan. The Raven Queen wishes to procreate with me. Hot damn. I would like to hide inside the undead dragon. Come on, I'll play your bones. Hey everybody, Brian Von Vier here, checking in after the vid. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to ring that bell, and to leave a comment down below, letting us know what your best out of context quotes was, because honestly, well, we're gonna have a part seven part eight, maybe a part nine. So flood the comments down below for that. And of course, come say hi to me, Brian Von Vier. Links are in the description to my website, but I'd like to see you all on my Twitch finally. There's hundreds of thousands of you and to see and just even a hundred of you on my Twitch would be amazing. I meet you guys and gals and everyone in between all the time. And I just want to say thank you for that. You know, when it, it's, it's a nice surprise to see you guys coming in and just saying hi and be like, yeah, I know you from Mr. Ripper. I mean, I'm even meeting some of you in person, too, and it's crazy. So, thank you. I really love that. I love you all. So, please be safe out there. Stay happy, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.